Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. It's your friendly neighbor Velva once again, and now we will be continuing with the next 50 stages of the Giratina Escalation Battle from stages 201 all the way towards stage 250, which will be the only boss battle for this stage. So, coming into this, uh, as you guys can already tell, there will be an uh, initial barrier layout with barriers concentrated in the center and in around the corners as well and during the stage itself it, will actually, it can actually summon a maximum of 3 blocks at random so I would actually recommend you guys to actually be, bring Mega Gengar to this stage reason being is because uh, if you actually can get Mega Gengar to Mega Evolve as soon as possible it can actually get rid of those initial barriers and it can actually help you hold on to your combo as well so you do not really need to activate sinister power uh, to actually defeat these non-boss stages so that's pretty much the idea bring Mega Gengar try to remove those initial barriers as soon as possible and yeah just hold on to your combo and this initial layout with blocks disruptions will be the same from stages 201 all the way towards stages 239 Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And do not worry too much about the block disruptions. As you can see, it already had disrupted three blocks. But by the time you actually hold, make your combo, uh, those previous blocks will actually disappear. Reason being is because it actually has a disruption timer of four. So by the time you make your four matches, and when you make your fifth match, those previous blocks will actually disappear, and the new blocks will actually start to appear. And if your whole board is in motion, sometimes you can only you will be able to only get maybe one or two blocks being disrupted disrupted instead of having three blocks disrupted so yeah that's the idea and that's pretty much it so as as always I'm still showcasing all those angry Giratina stages that I actually managed to encounter uh, throughout my escalation run and that's honestly it really I, like I mentioned, you don't really need to activate Sinister Power at the start. It can it, it will always help you out, but it is definitely not needed. Uh, yeah, it's just letting Mega Gengar do the work. Uh, get rid of those barriers, hold on to your combo, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, as you guys actually saw, you see the previous barriers actually disappeared before the new barriers, uh, the new blocks actually came out. So, yeah, that's the idea, honestly. And with that, yeah, significant amount of seconds left. You should be actually beating the stage maybe with around maybe 10 to 15 seconds left. You can actually hold onto a significant amount of combos. And yeah, I'm sure you guys can actually success successfully do these non boss stages. The only tricky Stages will be towards stages 240 all the way towards stage 250 Where there will be much less time for you to actually do uh, To actually finish those stages So as you guys can already tell the timer actually to actually finish these non boss stages from 201 to 290 239 will be at 40 seconds instead of the usual 50 seconds so yeah, but like I mentioned, just really just make use of Mega Gengar and you can definitely clear the stage as soon as possible. If you actually try to bring in Mega Absol, uh, it's, it's, Mega Effect will only clear out those initial two barriers only, which is at the top right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner. So, uh, it's Mega Effect will not really do really well against those initial barriers. So, like I mentioned, just hold on to your combo as long as possible using Mega Gengar. And yeah, as you can see, 15 seconds left. Uh, do not be too worried about about the stage only having 40 seconds because you can definitely defeat the stage uh, within the first 25 to 30 seconds. And reason being is because it does not have too much HP. And you can bring other Megas into these stages such as Mega Sharpedo or even a fully candy Mega Rokosa as well. So now we will be coming next into the next set of uh, non-boss stages from stage 240 all the way to stage 249. 
And as you can see, there will be a lesser time for you to actually complete the stage. You'll only be getting 30 seconds left. So what I will recommend you guys to do is to make vertical top roll matches on columns 1, 3, 4 and 6 to try and get rid of as many barrier rocks, rocks and barriers as soon as possible. So you can actually have an open board like, like what you guys are actually seeing right here. And again, Mega Gengar is actually the best Mega for choice. Especially with a stage that has a uh, very few seconds left for you to actually complete it. And with that, hopefully you can actually even get the after timer combo bonus uh, if you're actually using Mega Gengar for that instance, which I think is probably one of the best Megas for you to actually try and get the after timer combo. So even despite that, even though I did not really activate Sinister Power, I actually managed to defeat the stage with 6 seconds left so if you actually do take time to set up sinister power it will only help you guys as well and as you can see the HP will be around 10,000 HP so uh, lesser HP um, lesser time for you to complete it compared to the earlier non boss stages but still very manageable alright and now we actually come to the boss stage at stage 250 and I'll be using my beloved Mega Sharpedo team with a Sinister Power Zuaka and Util. And I'll be using limited items just like Stage 200. I'll be using only an Attack Boost and Complexity minus 1. And yeah, as you can see, uh, the boss stage is pretty symbolic to the non boss stages that it will only also have 30 seconds for you to complete the stage. But since there are so many barriers in the stage, I think I actually believe that Mega Sharpedo would be the better choice here to clear as many barriers as possible. Alright, so what you want to do is you definitely want to try and activate Sinister Power like I did right there. To be fair, Sinister Power was actually really really generous with me uh, throughout these stages. It actually activated I think tr twice on a 3 match. So I was actually pretty grateful for that. And with that, just try to let the combo match on its own. Try not to do too many manual matches because that will cause more of the disruptions to get summoned. But regardless, as you guys can see, I didn't really need any after timer combos. I actually did manage to just defeat it on the dot. And yeah, there we go. Attack boost and complexity is actually good enough. But if you guys are actually worth it, uh, do throw in a Mega, Mega Start. You can maybe try Mega Start Absol, especially Mega Start Sharpedo, Mega Start Gengar as well. Uh, Mega Start will really, really help you guys with those initial barriers. Alright, so that pretty much sums it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe and catch you guys in the next video. Peace.